Alrighty, so you guys saw the title of the video. Well, Miss Christmas is going to be joining us today. All right, let's start the video. We're doing a reaction. Let's start. <laughs> yeah, we are. Because of these bills, I have fielded calls from families in Montana, including one family whose trans teenager attempted to take her life while watching a hearing on one of the anti-trans bills. So when I rose up and said, there is blood on your hands, I was not being hyperbolic. I was speaking to be real. Okay, so um, <laughs> I think that I probably should have started off by saying I haven't seen this. I just felt like I should have said at the beginning that we haven't seen this yet. I was speaking to the real consequences of the votes that we as legislators take in this body. That's Montana State Representative Zoe Zephyr on Wednesday addressing the dangers of a bill restricting gender affirming care for transgender minors. After her remarks, Republicans censured Zephyr, the state's first trans lawmaker, and barred her from the state house floor for the rest of the legislative session. And there's data to back up Zephyr's concerns about Republicans' attacks against the LGBTQ community. According to a 2022 survey by the Trevor Project, more than 50% of transgender and non-binary kids across the U.S. seriously considered suicide. Tonight, Montana's governor signed the bill. Okay, but <laughs> transgendered people are like within the top. That I don't know what the actual st statistics are, but. I can only imagine that they're at the very top of the people that would most likely commit suicide. So is it just trans children or is it trans people at all stages? Because I get it, trans kids, but also there's plenty of trans people that have committed suicide before, during, and after their transition. So are we being totally fair here? I don't know. Montana's governor signed the bill Zephyr tried to stop into law. Joining me now is Montana State Representative Zoe Zephyr. Representative Zephyr, thank you so much for coming to the Saturday show. Now that Senate Bill 99 has been signed into law, what does this mean for transgender minors and the LGBT community in Montana? So it's important to note that this bill doesn't go into effect until October 1st, and we're gonna do everything in our power to stop this bill. There will be court challenges, and ultimately, like bills across the country, it will get defeated in, in these courts. We know they, these bills are un, as unconstitutional as they are cruel, um, but it is, I think it does show the way in which the right in our state is beginning to shift and isn't listening to the constituents in our communities who are saying these bills hurt people. You, you know, you, you were censured by your Republican colleagues after telling them, as we saw in that, that very gripping... There will be... I'm sorry, but nobody's mentioned what the bill says yet. What? We interrupt your programming to bring you random fucked up news. Today in random fucked up news. On April 25th, 2023, former member of the group, the Fugees, Pros Michelle was found guilty in a Washington court of 10 counts of international conspiracy endangering the security of the United States. One of the charges involves helping the notorious Malaysian dealer who financed the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, Zhao Lo, gain access to former President Barack Obama and other government officials. And now, back to your programming. Marissa J testimony you gave that there will be blood on your hands if this bill is passed. And watching the reaction of folks in that chamber, some looking at you and in the wider shot that might come up as I'm asking this question, 
There's some who aren't even looking at you. What what have you heard? What has been the reaction from your your fellow lawmakers on the other side of the aisle since your censure? So there are some folks on the other side of the aisle who, when that initial call for censure came out, thought, okay, this is just, you know, politics, nothing's going to come of this. But very quickly, they, they fell in line with the far right who was pushing to, to remove my voice and the voice of the constituents who elected me to represent them. Um, so cordial conversations sometimes, but ultimately, you see where the votes land. Mm-hmm. You, you, had a, you had a reception last night, a great reception last night at a rally. What are you hearing from your constituents? Thank you, is what I'm hearing. I, you know, when I, I walk through my community every day and when I knocked on doors campaigning on human rights and housing, I knew when I went into the legislature, when I spoke from my heart, that I was representing the people who elected me to that building. And so when I came home and saw them, it was, like coming home. Um, everyone was so excited. Everyone was so grateful that someone was standing up, fighting for democracy, holding people accountable when they pass harmful and dangerous legislation. You know, I have to tell you, it does, I mean, the LGBTQ community in general and the trans community in particular has been catching such hell over the last couple of years. And it does the heart good to see that what happened to you, the reaction, the cheers, the, the, the support from your constituents is really wonderful to see. What recourse do you have? What recourse do your constituents have to get you back in that chamber, back in your chair, back on the floor so that their voices are heard by the other folks in that chamber? So I think the first thing that's important to note is what this moment shows is it, it shows the cruelty. It shows how out of step uh, the right in our state are with what our communities want. But it also shows us what our state could be if we have leaders in those rooms who will stand up and do the moral and just thing. And so for me, it's, it's folks having hope and, and looking forward to how do we move forward? How do we get more folks in there who will stand up and do the just and moral thing? Obviously, I'm gonna be running for reelection in my district. I want to go back into the people's house. And in the interim, before the legislature ends next week, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that my uh, my constituents' voices can be heard. Okay. Um... So nobody said what it was. So now I have to do my Googles. Come on, Chris. Let's, let's do our Googles. Okay, it says here that the bill protects Montana children from permanent life-altering medical procedures until they are adults mature enough to make such serious decisions. So this bill is pretty much saying like, hey, Montana kids can't get surgeries until they're adults. Okay, what is what is gender affirming? What is gender affirming? Do you know what it is? I don't either. That's why we're Googling it. Okay, Montana became the first state to ban gender affirming care for transgender youth on Friday, blah, blah, blah. This, the bill restricts the use of hormone therapy, puberty blockers, and surgeries on people under age 18 for the purpose of gender transitioning. Priscilla, are you? have you had enough of the bullshit too? Have you had it? Look, she's fucking, she's sick of it. So, okay. If gender is an identity, you know what? Priscilla has something to say. If that's, if you identify as a female, why do you need to go under the knife? If that's, if you are who you say you are. Priscilla, that is, Priscilla, you're going to get the people riled up. So if an 
if a 13 year old girl says i want bigger boobs so that way i can feel better we're supposed to just do it girl i don't know i don't know either i don't know but you said some wild stuff and you're gonna get the people upset you're gonna get them really upset but you do have great points priscilla and i'm so glad that she brought those points up don't get upset with me i didn't say it she said it okay so zoe was benched for joining in with the protest okay i get that y'all did the same thing in tennessee but tennessee set the precedent for that to happen you cause any kind of a ruckus then they're gonna bench you all right I get it. I understand. Like, all right. Yeah. I would want to go back and, and work as close to the office as I possibly could where the people elected me. Yes. I understand that. However, what the fuck is this bill you're, pr you're supporting? Like, what the fuck is that? Your prefrontal cortex is not completely developed until you're 25 years old. That is a reality, okay? So when you do things like smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol or hell, even coffee, it can affect you in ways that it wouldn't affect you if you had started doing those things after the age of 25. So if something as small as coffee can affect you so drastically before the age of 25, what the fuck do you think a surgery is going to do? So there's plenty of different ways to do all kinds of surgeries. And if you've got a weak stomach, I mean, like, I don't know, skip ahead a few seconds. But um, <laughs> with bottom surgery, uh, male to female bottom surgery, you have to have enough penis, okay, to invert to make a decent vagina right if you start these kids on oh god if you start these kids on blockers at such a young age they're not gonna have enough penis to invert <sighs> you're gonna fuck these kids up you're not mentally finished cooking until you're 25 I have a family member who is 26. No, she's 25. She's just now going through second puberty. Did you guys know that that's a thing? If you don't go through a first puberty and you switch genders, God, you know what? I'm with you, Priscilla. I'm, I'm over it. Are you over it? Mm. Uh, keep an eye on your kids, okay? And um, just because your kid says that they are one thing doesn't mean that they actually are. One of my sons was been 10 for three years straight. Did it, did it make him actually been 10? Mm -hmm. I mean, we indulged him. Okay, stop running, been 10. Come over here, been 10. All right, we indulged him a little, but but did we get skin lightening cream? Uh, did we make his hair grow out, relax it? Uh, we didn't do that. We didn't do any of that because guess what? He grew up and realized that he wasn't Ben 10. He was his own person. So I don't know, maybe let kids grow the fuck up. Uh, you guys are being fucking weird as shit. So, with that being said, <laughs> we're gonna go. What, Chris? What? What is that noise you're making? Priscilla, what are these noises you're making? What's your fucking deal, Pickle? <laughs> oh. 
Priscilla. What are you? What is your problem? What are you doing? If you start these kids on blockers and why are you sitting like this? <gasps>